A UNLV researcher is pushing for a new method to speed up Alzheimer's treatment. He says existing medicines for other diseases could help Alzheimer's patients. All right, however, current regulations are really slowing studying and using the drug as an actual treatment. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Tismaneski speaking with the doctor about what's next. Dr. Jeffrey Cummings is world renowned in the field of Alzheimer's research and he leads UNLV's Center for Transformative Neuroscience. This week, he and six other scientists published this research article looking at the potential existing drugs have for research and treatment of Alzheimer's. For example, drugs like resegiline for Parkinson's or abexerotine for cancer. It's called repurposing. There are probably 30 or 40 drugs that have some degree of pro promise for Alzheimer's disease therapy, and what we need to do is to activate them. As it stands, activating them may take some time. Dr. Cummings says there are laws and regulations that stop repurposing from advancing to its full potential. Dr. Cummings says the research also serves as a call to action to lawmakers to change regulations in a way that would speed up the study and use of those drugs in labs like this one in UNLV. Benjamin Chalinor is with the Alzheimer's Association, serving as the director of public policy for Nevada. His work has a personal meaning, with Alzheimer's affecting his grandmother and great-grandmother. He says there are only two specific treatments for Alzheimer's and dementia right now, and they're expensive. But by repurposing currently available drugs, uh, it could essentially help reduce the cost because they are already available. Chalinor says the Alzheimer's Association is constantly speaking with lawmakers and discussing ongoing research. Research like that of Dr. Cummings which he says is all about supporting his patients. So I'm a neurologist. I've been frustrated by the relative absence uh, of treatments for my patients. So everything I can do to help accelerate and develop new therapies, very important to me personally. Dr. Cummings also says with repurposing drugs, there is no need for animal testing because the drugs have already been made.